Hello and welcome to Football United TV. I'm your host Matt King and I want to give a special thanks to Bills earlier from Madrid for giving us a very good interview on pretty much news, fixtures and updates on what's happened recently in the last week in International and Premier League and La Liga and so forth. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the results that happened this afternoon and yes I predicted it. I predicted it in the last video if you look into that. Um, I said that Man U would probably win 2-1 and it would be a hard game and it completely was. A lot of controversy in as well in the game. Obviously Pogba not celebrating one of the goals. Um, a lot of speculation that he's doing that because he wants to leave. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, <clears throat> but that's something that's going to probably be talked about for the next few days, especially in newspapers and and blogs and etc. etc. Um, other results today, Fulham nil, Man City 2, Crystal Palace 2, Huddersfield nil, Burnley 2, Wolves nil. That's very surprising because the Wolves are very good. And I, especially away as well. They, you know, Man City won all, wasn't it? At the City Etihad ground. Um, so 2 nil, not very good from them. But helps out Man United because we got to play Wolves next. So let's hope. And it's away. Uh, Brighton lost to Southampton, 1 0. Obviously, West Ham and Everton are still playing, but it looks to me like Everton have smashed that. Obviously, beating Chelsea in the last games that happened a week or so ago, they're on a roll. So, well done to Everton and West Ham. Should have been winning that, especially at the hit your new ground, you know. Maybe make the improvements on your new ground, bring that atmosphere back together, because that might be the reason why you're not where you specifically think you should be. That's just my opinion, though. And obviously tomorrow we've got Cardiff versus Chelsea and a big, big game tomorrow. Liverpool versus Tottenham and me as a Man United fan clearly wants a 1-1 draw. I would say 0-0, but I know there's going to be at least a couple of goals. And I just feel that 1-1's a safe bet, um, especially it's what I want. So I'm going to shout that out. Um, <clears throat> so it's, a, it's going to be a very good game tomorrow. And of course, Tottenham go into their new ground midweek playing against Crystal Palace so that'll be interesting to watch and I might do a little preview about that game and about the stadium and about why it's taken so long and the fact that it looks so remarkable it looks like a very good stadium and, and Tottenham fans should be proud it's definitely worth the money for what they've got very very well done to them but I don't know what you think about maybe them moving into their ground at this point in the Premier League right at the end of the season. Is it wise? Is it not? Will they feel comfortable seeing as they've been doing pretty well at Wembley? Who knows? Well, you can only find out with Crystal Palace, but we'll, we'll see. And of course, we've got Arsenal and Newcastle on Monday, which I'm hoping is also... Well, I'm hoping Arsenal lose, but I'm pretty, you know, from, from inside, my gut feeling, I think maybe 2-2. I think Newcastle will give it a go, and I'm, Arsenal are on the up as well. They're especially going away to Dubai this week and getting some, you know, um, some sun time, you know, warm weather training. Um, I think they could, they could at least draw or win this game. I don't think they'll lose, but I'm hoping for Newcastle's sake, they win. <laughs> I hope Newcastle win. Sorry for you, Arsenal fans. And, of course, we'll speak to Dan tomorrow. Not tomorrow, sorry, beg your pardon. Monday night, after the match, to hear his reaction on the the result. So, thank you very much for joining in. Um, please do subscribe, like, share, do whatever you can. And, of course, check out the video I did with Bills earlier on, talking about almost everything. We go on for about 35 minutes and... If you like football or if you like just discussing discussions in general, then please do have a little look. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Matt King and I'm saluting you out. Thank you. Bye.